Welcome to yet another video for free traffic se secrets, how to get an avalanche of free traffic and turn the visitors into cash. This one will be all, all about how to rank your sites with New Age SEO. This video will focus on how to rank your sites or your client sites using the latest ranking techniques, which consist of several different techniques than what you may have heard elsewhere. But the following techniques, when combined, are almost guaranteed to not only rank you now, but well into the future, as we only promote the techniques that the search engines want you to do. So that means no black hat tricks that never last long, or no tricks that work right now but might be banned in a month, or no tricks that uh, you know put your site at risk of being kicked out of the search engines, or anything like that. These are all short-term and long-term um, you know, tricks that work at the same time, both for the short-term and the long-term too. So uh, really good info in this video right here. There's really five things that you need to do to rank well. You don't need to do all five, as even just a couple of them can get you ranked well, but when you do all five at once, you greatly increase your chances of top rankings even for more competitive terms. Here are the five things you should do to rank for any term. Step number one, research your keyword or key keywords and know how competitive they are compared to the relative search volume and type of traffic. To see how competitive a keyword is, you want to search Google for the keywords and see how many of the organic re results, which are the ones not labeled as ads, contain the exact keyword phrase somewhere in their title tag, which is the blue links that you click on for the search engine results. If there's five or more that do, it will be a much more competitive keyword to rank for that will require some extra work, and for sure doing as many of these steps as you can. If there's only a couple or less re results with the exact phrase in the title somewhere, you'll have a good chance of ranking for these keywords if you use them in your web page titles or blog post titles. If there's zero sites using that keyword in their title, you have an almost guaranteed chance of ranking simply by targeting it in your own title. After you de determine that you have a keyword that isn't too competitive, you want to make sure that there's at least one of the following two things. Either something that gets enough searches each month to make it worthwhile, and you know usually that's at least several hundred searches or more each month, or a keyword that is more likely to be a keyword a buyer would be searching for, like buy a diamond online versus just diamond. A good buyer keyword doesn't have to have a ton of searches to be worthwhile, but the less buyer type keyword you have, the more search volume you'll want to make it uh, worth targeting. Luckily, Webfire has a few keyword tools that can help you not only identify which keywords have the best search volume, but also which ones will be the easiest to actually rank for in any market along with tons of keyword suggestions for you. Step number two, make sure to optimize your site for the keywords that, that you picked, especially in your title tags and blog post titles. Having keywords in your title tags can be one of the biggest factors in ranking, especially for low to mid competitive keywords. Each web page that you have on your website can have a different title tag, just like how each blog post on a blog can have a different title for each post, which is really treated as a separate web page. So you can have one page targeting each of the keywords to increase your chances of ranking for multiple keywords, but make sure that obviously the content reflects the keywords that you're trying to rank for too. If you don't know how, how to edit your title tags, Keep in mind that many blog platforms usually have the titles of your blog posts default to your title tags. While you can Google how to edit your 
title tags or hire someone to do it for you otherwise. Or you can use Webfire to automatically help you adjust your title tags even if you're not a technical person or computer savvy at all using our built-in SEO tool. You can even use it to help you adjust other things on your site to help with your rankings like image and alt tags, header tags, description tags, site maps, so on and so forth. All stuff you don't have to really worry about if you know nothing about as long as you have the tool to help you. Step number three, make your titles or title tags um, you know, not only optimized for the proper keywords, but also make sure that they're also compelling to get more clicks. So again, make sure that they're not only optimized for the keywords you're trying to target, but make sure that, that, that the actual titles are compelling uh, to get people to actually click on. If you initially get ranked, but then no one hardly ever clicks through to your site, what do you think that tells Google? That it shouldn't be ranked there. But what if you get a lot of clicks because you have a compelling title? That tells Google that people like your, your site over the, the other sites and should rank you higher, which they do. You can have a compromise between an SEO friendly title and a compelling title at the same time. For instance, if you wanted to rank for the keyword puppy potty training, instead of just having a title of puppy P potty training, which is, you know, kind of boring, you should target a title of puppy potty training dash five minute trick. Both titles contain the keyword puppy potty training, but the second one contains extra words that make it far more compelling to click through to even if you're not initially the number one ranked site. So even if you're not the number one ranked site, if you have a compelling title, you'll more likely get more people to click through and end up on your site. The most compelling titles tend to almost always win the game if there's more competition. So definitely keep that in mind when you're competing against others. But still make sure that your content is also relevant to the title at the same time. Step number four, keep readers on your site and engaged. If someone clicks on your site from Google and then immediately leaves, what do you think it tells Google? That your site doesn't have what they're looking for. But if someone clicks on your ranking and then stays, what does it, does it tell them? That they found what they're looking for. That's why you want to make sure to try to keep readers engaged on your site with longer yet interesting content, engaging graphics, videos, links to internal pages, and so forth. And basically, just make sure that there's good quality content that reflects what you're trying to rank for that truly would be of interest to the reader. Interesting infographics or videos can keep them engaged much longer, as can links to other content that you have on your site. The longer they stay, the more likely Google will think that your site should not only maintain its rankings, but that it should increase its rankings as well. Even factors like if others comment on your blogs and such can play a role as well, but one of the top factors is definitely how long they stay relative to other links that they might click on in the search engines. And this has been even more of a factor in the last couple of years. Luckily, Webfire has a lot of great content and video tools to help you keep your readers engaged if you want to automate more of it. Tip number five, get backlinks and use social signals. Backlinks are basically other sites linking to your web pages. There's lots of spammy tools out there that just get you a ton of crappy backlinks, but these tend to do more harm than good, especially long-term, as Google and the others look for quality over quantity. You want links from other relevant web pages linking to you. You can get these by making some relevant 
videos that link to your sites, posting in forums, uh, especially if you post valuable information first and foremost, um, as well as blogs, guest blog posting, which is where you blog for another person's blog, doing press releases, and distributing your content around as much as possible to relevant sites. Just make sure that you're not just spamming links all over. You want to make sure that, that the links are accompanied by valuable information in the post that you're doing or the content that you're distributing. You don't need a ton of these backlinks to get awesome re results, but having just a few of them can drastically help your own rankings, especially for more competitive keywords. Luckily, Web Fire has several tools available where you can get not only more backlinks, but extra traffic and leads at the same time, like its Ranked Lead Finder, Real-Time Lead Finder, Guest Blog Finder, Q&A Lead Finder, and so forth, on top of our Content Submitter and Video Firestorm 2. Um, you know, all those tools uh, can really help you with all that stuff right there, and WebFire makes it super easy to do so. As for social signals, these are things like your site being mentioned on social media places like Facebook, Twitter, and so forth, as well as people commenting or interacting. This can be easy to accomplish by mentioning your websites or blog posts on your social media accounts like Facebook, encouraging people to like, share, comment, and so forth. It can not only help you rank for your sites, but it can also be an excellent place to get even more leads and interaction with your prospects. So although you can post to your social media accounts manually, WebFire has a special tool called Social Poster Fire that can not only schedule these postings for you, but it can also optionally recycle through them to make them never ending. If you do even a couple of these five steps, you'll start seeing some rankings. But if you do all five of them, it'd be hard not to rank for the vast majority of keywords are out there. So just to show you briefly how this would look inside a web fire. So one of the things that you can do to rank is first do, the, again, the keyword research. So let's say we wanted to rank for some massage chairs type term, like whether you were just an affiliate of massage chairs or if you actually sold massage chairs yourself or if you drop shipped them or you know anything like that. Uh, you'd go to the SEO and keyword tools right here. So you just click that. And then you'd click on keyword tool right here for this example right here. You would type in a term like massage chairs. You'd click here to have it find 50 related keywords. You'd pick the location you want to search from or to display the results from, like for instance, from like the US or UK or Australia or where, wherever you might be. The default is the US, especially if you want to rank on like a global scale. Um, then we'll start a search. This can take a few minutes. I actually pause the search partway through. You see it listed uh, 20. If you wait the whole time, it'll go up to 51 keywords. It'll find and analyze all those right there. And then I'll pull up a screen like this, where basically the good uh, keywords will list in green. The ones that will be tougher will list in red. And as it analyzes more, it... Uh, pulls up a lot more, but it will analyze. So these ones right here haven't been, been analyzed yet because I paused the uh, search uh, just for the sake of the demo right here. Um, but you'll see the keyword in question on the left side, and you can instantly track those key keywords, analyze them more, get uh, you know graph charts on them, all that good stuff right there. But the important parts are right here in the middle. We see the exact amount of monthly estimated searches. So for this term right here, you see it gets about five and a half thousand exact searches a month. Now, exact means those are people typing in only massaging chair in this case, so nothing else. Not uh, even like best massaging chair or, you know, anything like that. Just massaging chair with nothing else extra. Whereas broad means it's the estimated monthly searches for someone that types in that exact phrase plus either word, uh, you know, a word or words before or after it. So that could include best massaging chair, massaging chair for adults, 
um, high-end massaging chair, you know, any term like that would be included with that as long as it contains the keyword in question. And in that case, there's obviously a lot more, over 200,000 estimated searches a month for the broad reach. Um, so that tells you that's a decent amount of traffic, especially considering that, you know, it's probably a high-end product because, uh, you know, the high-end massage chairs can cost anywhere from a grand to like 8,000 plus. Um, and right here, this basically gives us an idea of what the true competition looks like. So how many sites are truly trying to compete uh, over that keyword? In this case, uh, we see that there's zero sites on page one that mention that keyword phrase in their title. There's zero that mention it in their dis description and zero that mention it in the headings. Now a score is a combination of a few things, but basically uh, the closer it is to 100, the easier it is to rank for. So 100 means it's like super, super, super easy to rank for in the vast majority of cases, whereas like, you know, in the 50s, 60s, or 70s or less, it means it's not impossible, it just means it just might just be a bit more tough to actually rank for. Uh, we also can get, get some more d detail um, right here if you click the little person icon there. We'll give you a breakdown of what the, comp what the, the competition looks like, the keyword density, the heading tags, and title tags and all that stuff that they use uh, right there. You, you, you can kind of see a brief overview of all that. You can also click a little graph here and it'll show you the search volume over time. So month to, to month, the searches might uh, change some. So we'll list off all that right there. And yeah, so what you'd want to uh, do in this case is you want to let the full search go and then pick a handful of keywords that uh, you think would be a good fit for you. Ones that you know have a decent amount of search volume and that aren't too hard to rank for at the same time. And if you have a site, then you would want to um, essentially try to write a blog post or make a new web page or um, have some article content or anything like that, um, some, some, some actual content that actually targets that keyword. And you want to especially have either a web page or a blog post where you target that keyword that you want to rank for in the title and in the title tag. Um, now, you don't have to type in the keyword just by itself. You can type in, you know, a compelling, uh, title like we said, like, you know, we could say right here, you know, best massaging chairs that feel real or, you know, any term like that where it's like it, it's a compelling title, people are more likely to actually click through, but it still contains the keyword that you're trying to actually rank for. Um, so once you pick that keyword, you can either then, you know, make the site or post that to your site. And again, there's tools inside of Webfire to like look for keyword rich domain names and all sorts of cool stuff that you can do on top of that. But, you know, we'll just stick to the basics for, for right now. Um, then after you pick the keywords that you want to basically target or write some um, posts on or even just make a video on, which again, Webfire comes with a video tool where you can make, optimize, and rank videos too. So that's a uh, Another option, but if you have a site, you can post it, and then you can check to see what your site, um, what the site analysis looks like. So you just go to the site analysis tool, and we have a video that does a more in-depth uh, walkthrough of the site analysis tool. So I won't go into detail on that, but you can see if you have, a, you know, if you you would have a good chance of ranking for that keyword to start with. But you could see um, if you optimize your site, you know, what you have to do to basically fix that, and you would basically type in the URL of the web page itself or the blog post itself that you have that keyword on, and you could see what you'd have to do to, to uh, change that to rank for. So this just gives you an idea. So like if you were missing it in a title tag, it would tell you right here. If you're missing it in um, a heading or anything like that, it would t tell you right there. And and again, whether you have a blog or a standard HTML site, we have an SEO tool that can help uh, fix that stuff for you just right here called SEO configuration. So again, Basics are, I mean, really, if you do the keyword research, if you target the keyword in your title and you make the title com compelling, you know, use it a bit in your content, um, you know, that stuff by itself will give you a good chance of ranking uh, for the vast majority of keywords out there. If it's a bit more tough and you don't see rankings, you know, after maybe like a couple or a few days or a week or so, then, you know, you can always go the extra mile and get the backlinks, the social si signals, and all that stuff, which, again, gives you more of a chance to rank and rank quickly for that stuff right there. And once you do all that, you can also go to the rank tracker, which I have right here, just under SEO and keywords, and then rank. And if you want to add any keywords that you want, you can also click on any of the keywords on, like, the keyword tool to instantly track those on any site that you, you have added into Webfire. Or if you want to add them by hand, you type in the in the keyword or keywords right here. Um, you type in the website, 
and then it will track those for you. So as your rankings go up or down, it can actually alert you to those every day. In fact, we'll post them in the main dashboard of Webfire. It will tell you um, anytime there's a rank change, and you can go to the rank tool and it will show you as well. So you see lots of rankings that tracks up and down right there. Um, whereas if it's on page one, it'll show, show up in green. If it's not on page one, it'll be in yellow. Um, and like right here, here's a, a client site right here, just again, dominating page, or not just page one, but number one on page one on Google, Yahoo, and Bin for all these tennis terms right here. And you know even some good ones for, for, for some global terms right here, like mobile autoresponder, just completely killing it right there and doing great. And again, you can add as many different keywords as you want, but another great way to, after you do the keyword research and do the actual post, you can track your rankings as they go up. So, you know, you might initially, um, you know, go from nothing to maybe page two and then go from page two to page one and then somewhere on page one to number one or two. Um, and if you don't actively look for it, you might not know it. So it's a great way to be alerted uh, to that right there. And although there are definitely more helpful SEO tips and advice that you'll learn, throughout this training and inside a web fire, if you stick to these five steps, you'll be off to a great start and obtain some great rankings.